Come on in. Just bring him up here. About 1 o'clock in the morning, Libby wasn't feeling good. And she all of a sudden had a puppy. We didn't know she was pregnant. She didn't show any signs. We ended up talking to Dr. Pohl about 3 o'clock in the morning to see if we shouldn't come in in the middle of the night. How many more has she had? That was it. We think that she could have a puppy stuck in her. Order an x-ray. Come on downstairs. So how in the heck did she get pregnant? You know, she, we don't know. She doesn't know how because she never bred the dog. Yeah, she got loose once and ran over. Yeah. Well, she, that's when it was. 11 years old. We never expected it. So we never seen her get you know, hooked up with anybody. No, you stay. Hasn't had a puppy in seven years. OK. Good. So we wouldn't have thought that would have happened. Nothing. Oh, good. No, take what? a look. What? Yeah, that's what, what happens. There are no puppy bones that you can see on the x-rays. Nothing there. That's the bladder, intestines, nothing else. Because of age, there was only one egg. Oh. OK, now you know. Now we know. Better safe than sorry. Yep, no puppies. Luckily, there's no puppies. I'm very relieved that she doesn't have to have a C-section and that she's not in danger. I thought she was dying. OK, no antibiotic, no nothing. It was the best outcome possible. She's fine. Thanks for everything. You're very welcome. I can't take, thank you enough. I gave Dr. Pohl a big hug. When you call your doctor at 3.30 in the morning and he answers, to me, that means more than anything. Couldn't ask for a better doctor.